Welcome back, it's Nine, and today we have some very, very big news, and this comes straight from the PlayStation blog. All about this coming Thursday, we are getting a state of play. I know that a lot of people aren't too excited about Deathloop, but there are some details in here that could have you excited once you look deeper into it. Now, it is titled Tune In to State of Play this Thursday for an extended look at Deathloop. Uh, 30 minutes of indie and third-party updates, including a reality-warping tour of Black Reef Island. The show starts at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, and 11 p.m. CEST. Viewable on Twitch or YouTube, and we will be streaming over on the channel as well. They say in this extended gameplay sequence, we'll see Colt use his abilities to stealthily skulk across rooftops or go in guns blazing to create a whole lot of mayhem Lots of options available on Black Reef Island. Now, it does in addition say we'll have updates on some exciting indie and third-party titles. The full show will be about 30 minutes. Now, before I go any further into this, let's talk about these third-party titles. We know that Forspoken is to come soon. We know that uh, Final Fantasy 16 is to come soon. As Square Enix said before, earlier this year, that we are going to have more for those games in the summertime. And this could be an ideal place for that. So we could not only see Deathloop, which I personally am excited for. It is my type of game. But I understand that not everybody is excited for that. But these games will be additions to that, which to me are also another addition that would be very exciting if that is the case. There is a lot that we don't know about in terms of PlayStation's upcoming games, but if Final Fantasy 16 and or Forspoken get shown here, it's going to be very exciting. If I were to bet, I'd say Forspoken before FF16 just because Forspoken has already got a release date. So it would be ideal to show that here. Uh, in terms of indie titles, there's a lot there that they could do as well. But I think the biggest titles here are going to likely be uh, Deathloop, obviously, for the nine minutes that they're going to show, and then hopefully Forspoken, and I'm sure there are a lot of other games that a lot of you are hoping to see here as well. Now, the most important thing here, and I think it's a lot to keep in mind, because I know that there is disappointment based on the community post that I made and what I've seen on the replies to the tweet that Sony made, there is still a lot to be excited for. Even if you aren't excited for this event, there's a quote here that it tells you a lot. And let's talk about it. They say this showcase will not include updates on the next God of War, Horizon Forbidden West, or the next generation of PlayStation VR saying, hey, don't even expect that. Stay tuned throughout the summer, though, as we'll have more updates soon, which means that we are inevitably going to get that PSX or that big PlayStation event that's going to show off God of War is we're going to get a Horizon Forbidden West release date, maybe some more uh, trailers or something on that. And we're going to get a PlayStation VR showcase as well. Like you got to look at it like this, although that's not confirmed here, they are literally saying, hey, we're not going to show these things, but stay tuned throughout the summer. So this to me is a confirmation that God of War is going to get a showcase real soon. And that means like this summer. So if not July, we're looking at August and then Horizon Forbidden West, we're going to get a release date probably in August and in PlayStation VR amongst many other games. As I said, Forspoken likely going to be here as it's already got a release date, but also Final Fantasy 16, which is also a big major third party exclusive. We also have Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, which we have not seen anything about, but developers have been talking extensively about it, meaning that we're likely going to see something about that sooner rather than later. And where else would they show it than a PlayStation event, as it's probably going to have some sort of timed exclusivity with PlayStation once again, as that has been a pattern with a lot of their games since, I want to say, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1. Now we got 16, obviously 14 is, and then now we also have FF7 Remake Part 2, which is technically speculation as we don't know for sure that that's going to be the case. But seeing as intermission was, I wouldn't be surprised if this is as well. So again, if you're not excited for Deathloop, if you're not excited for the details on this PlayStation State of Play, keep in mind the God of War... Horizon Forbidden West, PSVR 2, amongst other things, are going to get updates soon, and they're saying throughout the summer. So, again, if not July, it's got to be August because the summer ends after August. So, really, there is a lot to be excited about. There is. And for me personally, I think I would be happy with this showcase, depending on what the third-party titles are. 
A death loop we've seen a lot of, so I totally understand why people are not jumping for joy at seeing more of this. For me, death loop is already a pre-ordered game, and I'm really looking forward to it as it really is just my type of game. I would enjoy it, and I'm hoping we see a lot of games that we haven't heard much about since the initial showcase. We saw a Capcom game, we saw more Bethesda games, we saw uh, Little Nightmare 2, I think that's what it's called. There was a bunch of games that we saw that people are super excited for. Stray is another one people wanted to see. Maybe we see that here. Maybe we don't. We'll see what happens. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of this state of play? Are you excited at all for it? If not, do you feel that this last statement at the end of this blog post gives you hope for a summer showcase do you think we'll get a psx or do you think it's going to be another 30 to 40 minute state of play type of situation where they show off god of war horizon and psvr or what may that even entail as we go forward into the summer and almost promised these things into the summer so let me know in the comments what you think. As always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos. And hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. And share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.